Welcome back to Return of the Obra Din. Last episode, we saw some of what happened in uh, the chapters called The Doom, when the gigantic kraken tore apart the ship and killed many people, if not most of them. Uh, next thing I want to do is, uh, off camera, I actually realized something. I was going through the people that the game thinks I can solve, you know, the people that have their picture unblurred. And we still have that person with the tattoos, and I still have no idea how I'm supposed to know their identity already. However, there was somebody else who I'm almost certain I do actually know their identity, and I just kind of, I guess, forgot to identify them, because they were the very first person right here. So this person, I guess... Um, yeah, let's view their, their thing. So this is the person outside the captain's quarters. The one that was holding an axe and shot by the captain. Captain, open the door, kick it in, let's break it down. Um, anyway, and we know a little bit later... Uh, is it in this chapter? Yes. Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. I'll be with you too. So this was just a little bit after the captain killed the people trying to get into their quarters. So, I think it's a not, a, not too much of a stretch to say that Abigail's brother who is their friend, is probably the one that they shot. Uh, because, uh, especially because, if we look at their picture... Wait, can I... I can't look at their picture like this, can I? No, I gotta go into the memory. If we look at their picture... Captain, open the door! Actually, you know what? I think it's probably better if I just look at the picture outside of the memory. The crew... Um, yeah, so this is Captain Robert Witterell. And this is the unknown person. That is the person, the first one that we encountered, the one just outside their quarters, the one that was holding the axe. That's them, and if you notice, they're standing right next to them. And they seem to be wearing pretty much the same or, or very similar attire. And if we look at the crew manifest... William Hoskoot, which I believe is Abigail's brother because of the name Hoskoot, is the first mate. So it makes sense. The first mate would be wearing, you know, pretty captain-y sort of clothes, and they'd be standing right next to the captain. I don't know how first or second or third mates work exactly, or fourth mate, apparently that's a thing. But that seems reasonable to me, so... I believe that person is William Hoskoot. Seems very likely. Let's identify them, then. William Hoskoot... They were shot. Shot by a gun. By Robert Witterell. Three fates correct. Thank you. Okay, confirmed. Captain Robert Witterell shot himself. Pauline Mahosku, first mate, shot by a gun by Captain Witterell. And Abigail was crushed by a terrible beast. And this last page has some lines filled in. I don't like that. What's going to happen when I finish this, do you think? <laughs> this book and this watch creeps me the hell out. It's good to know that Abigail was uh, the proper killed by thing was crushed by a beast, right? Is that how it was worded? Crushed by a terrible beast, yes, because the, like, the thing that directly hit them was not the beast, it was actually a pole that the beast pushed down, so I wasn't sure how literal to be with the, you know, you were killed by, but apparently I got it right. All right, let's continue more down here on the gun deck. Have I mentioned this game is really good? It's like really good. 
Actually, another thing I'm not sure if I mentioned very much is... Um... Well, I, I think I mentioned that the ship is repaired... Now. But obviously, when, like, the Doom happened and the Kraken attacked, this whole ship was just completely wrecked. I mean, masts were torn down. That's not an easy thing to repair. Ah, now that I look around more, I'm seeing signs of how they repaired it. That is a broken mast, isn't it? Kind of held together with a bunch of rope? Amongst probably other things? Can't imagine the rope itself would be enough. Yeah, that's been hastily repaired. I don't really see any other super obvious damage up here. So definitely a lot of other things have been repaired. Like railings and stuff like that. Down here in the gun deck, though, things don't seem to be as repaired. I mean, look at that. Wall there is completely smashed up. These cannons are all haphazardly strewn about. Hmm. This is... I don't think that's a repair job, actually. Those ropes, I think those are just probably to hold these barrel things in place so that they don't fall around as this ship rocks at sea. I think. Now that's totally torn up. There's a bed in here? Is it... Did they normally share a bunk? With a cannon? Or did somebody just move the cannon in here for some reason? Yeah, we've already seen these bodies. Yeah, that obviously hasn't been repaired at all. I can't tell. A necklace of some sort? Oh. Got another one. Um, this one might not have been killed by the Kraken. There's a knife on the ground and lots of blood. Cut! Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I... I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back, to save him. You tell her yourself. <coughs> Brennan! Bring the surgeon's kit! <coughs> Brennan. Bring the surgeon's kit. Who are they talking to? Somebody out here? these people? Oh, Jesus. They're holding a club. Do they just kill these people? Oh, Jesus Christ. That one's missing their face. Oh. Yeah, which one's Brennan? they're wearing. They have, like, scarf thing. I'm sure that signifies something. Does the game think I can identify them? Well, I guess not this body, necessarily, because they weren't calling to this body who died for help. <laughs> Yes, they, the body, 
is still blurry, not surprisingly. How did they die? Um, I think it's because they were stabbed. Don't leave me. Tell Pete's mother I, I tried my best to pull him back to save him. So we have two names here, Pete and Brennan. Calling to Brennan to bring the surgeon's kit. And this person who died tried to save Pete, but Pete died. Okay, Brennan and Pete. Hmm... Oh, William Hoscoot was present? So one of the three people is William Hoscoot. Obviously still alive, right? But yeah, these events happened before the chapter called The End, which is where William Hoscoot was killed by the captain. Which... means this person, who is clear, their picture is clear, so the game thinks I can identify them. And they've only got one little tick here, so they should be easy. So we know that they were knifed by Captain Robert Witterell, from another memory we saw at the very beginning. I mean, if they're calling for Brennan to get the kit, the surgeon's kit, obviously William Hoskoot's name is not Brennan, so... This must be Brennan, probably. Who is Brennan? Ah, here they are, almost at the very end. Number 56, Henry Brennan. A seaman from England. They show up in five memories, and we've only discovered two of them. So I don't want to forget this part. Pete's mother. I tried my best. Let's look at who Pete is. Just on the manifest? Probably another seaman, I would imagine. I think Pete would be referring to... Peter? Peter Milroy, midshipman? Number 33. What is a midshipman? Is that defined... In the glossary? Uh, yes. Officer in training assists various officers and tradesmen in order to learn ship operations, usually of privileged status. Okay, officer in training. So, wait a minute, hold on. Hmm. I'm confused. This wasn't listed as one of the three present in the memory, in the memory, right? <clears throat> Who's William Hoscoot? Like, which one of you? It's not you, is it? No. This is Henry Brennan, we believe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is th this is William Hoscute. Yes. Okay. Oh, I think I just understood something that I totally didn't before. One second. Can I... I guess I gotta go to the chapter. Escape. This person. Uh, no, not there. Three others were present. Yeah, three others. Not three people, but three others. Meaning these are the three people other than the one who died. Right. Okay, it's all making sense now. <laughs> so this... 
uh, wait, then does that mean I've actually identified who Brennan is at all? No, Brennan could be this person or could be this person, but this person had their picture unblurred, meaning the game thinks I can actually figure out who they are. This one doesn't. So this one must be Brennan. Otherwise, I wouldn't know which of these two it would be. It's always so eerie when I enter this mode. That drum. It's like a heartbeat. Yep, so these people were clubbed to death by this person. They just have a little club. Um, is that a, is that a gun in this person's hand? Yes. Someone with a very fancy hat. So they're not a, they're definitely not a seaman. They're not unblurred though, so we don't know how to identify them. Same with that person. But you. Oh, right. You're Brennan. Who's the person on the stairs? Well, I know how they died. They were clubbed. Clubbed by Henry Brennan. So again, the game doesn't think I can identify them. I'm just wondering if I should like look up the manifest and see people that might fit this type of hat. Like, what does this hat signify in terms of their place on the ship? I'm sure I could find some information about that. I don't know if, uh, well, this person seems to have a kind of similar hat. These hats of the first mate and the captain are very different from what this person has. Like, these are more wide-looking to me. Like, they're flat on the front and back, whereas this person has a hat that's sort of flat on the sides and not on the front and back. If that makes any sense. But yeah, this person looks similar, too. I wonder if this is, like, the second mate or something like that. This person also. Yeah, maybe these are just all the... All the not first or second mates. Anyway, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If the game doesn't think I can identify them, then I don't think I should. Oof. That is the person that ended up dying right here, being talked to by William Hoskoot. This is them after they've been horribly stabbed and god they're just completely gushing blood i'm sure they died of blood loss really quickly so who stabbed them right it starts here so it happened during this actually wait wait wait, wait. does it start here There's some blood going over this way but i can't go that far is it their blood though 
Maybe not. Because why would their blood be so small, like little bits of blood, and then suddenly a lot right here? Unless they were stabbed multiple times in different places? Hmm. So, who has a knife? Like, this person has a gun, this person has a club. I don't see a weapon around this person at all. I don't know. So that person who lost half of their head wasn't from the club. That was from a gun. Their own gun. This person... Um, who are you? Do I know who you are? No, I still don't know who they are. That's the same person that was... on the stairs? They uh, used this person's own gun against them. Is that their hat flying off? Or part of their head? I don't know. At this point in the memory, they're still crawling to get over here. Blood trails still continue over here a little bit, still can't go that way. a gun. Enough captain cannot be trusted. You have a plan? Yes, we take ship and sail east. Trade wretched fish and shells for gold. Huh? Who's there? Mutiny. Mutiny. Fresh bastard. No. Is the person with the X next to their name, is that the person who was killed? There's no names in here. So who's crying out mutiny, so... What exactly was happening here? Somebody started just, like, yelling mutiny? Is that because they heard what this person was talking about? Right, they said captain can't be trusted, we take ship and sail east, so obviously they're taking, talking about taking control, uh, mutinying, or whatever you want to say, against the captain. And then somebody overheard and started screaming mutiny? And then they're like, bastard, and then no, and then somebody had their head blown off? But is this the person who was screaming mutiny having their head blown off, or...? The person talking about mutiny. Oh, 
I didn't even think about going upstairs. That's the person with the club. So the first body, the one with their head shot off, they were dead on the ground. Yeah, they were dead on the ground before this person, uh, Brennan, with the club came down. With the person hanging back here, there's a body over the railing. There's a lot going on. They're tossing a body into the water. I love that, like, snake rattle sound. It's so cool. Who's that? What was her name again? Um, this one, Emily Jackson, I believe that's Emily Jackson. Blowing their whole stomach out, Jesus Christ. They had a sword in hand. Is another person here already dead? Probably. Probably shot by Emily as well. Who else is in that boat? There's one other person, but I can... No, two other people. Two other people, plus this person. are not really in the boat. I don't know. Who are you? I don't know. I don't know who you are. How did they die? They were also shot. A lot of people were shot. By a gun. Don't know by whom, though. There's a lot of people involved in this one. Ah, uh, there's one of the ones that... Oh, that's William Hoskoot. Oh, that's William Hoskoot. Okay, and then this is... I can't go down, actually, but I think that's Brennan, right? Yes, that's Brennan. Oh, hello. You look familiar. That's, that's the captain, right? Yes. Robert Woodrow. And you are creeping around like a creep, although you don't have a gun anywhere that I can see, or a knife or anything like that. They were clubbed by Robert Woodrow. It does look like they're sneaking, like they're trying to come up behind the captain. So where are you aiming that gun at? Like, who exactly? Are you trying to aim it at the people trying to get off the ship? Or are you aiming it at this person? You are. This is probably Miss Miss Jane or something. Miss something. I don't know if I can get close enough for the game to highlight them. Ah, yes. Yes, Miss Jane Bird. Thank you. 
last one. Move quick. Boy, you'll not take the last one. Hold him out. <laughs> So this person was supposed to join them on the boat. That's Abigail. Wait, no, not Abigail. That's Emily Jackson reaching for them. But they said, no, you will not take the last boat. Um, oh, that's not. That's the one after. Yeah, that's the one after this. Where's this one? Somewhere further on. Enough, Captain Kadop. Wait, where is it? Oh, maybe it's not in the book yet because I haven't left the memory. That's probably it. But yeah, I think this person was trying to stop them from taking the last boat, they said. And then somebody said, like, stop, let them take it. Okay, that was, that was Robert Witterell. They were firing a shot into the air to get people's attention and say, just, like, stop. Those little creepers creeping. And that's Brennan, and this is Hoskoot. I think. There's one dot above their head, so they should be easy to figure out the identity of, apparently. Not sure who they are yet. But they were... They were stabbed, right? Let me just double check. Yep. Killed by sword. Yeah, killed by sword. And I don't know who you are, right? Nope. Anything going on down here? Oh, yes. Oh, what is... Oh, this is where that trail of less blood leads to. Yeah, that trail of blood is completely unrelated to the other person that was stabbed and then crawled over here to die. Leads to this person. They're blurred. They look like they're tired, crying. Ah, that person again. And you are creeping on them. Are you the one who got stabbed in the back? You are, aren't you? No. Who are you? Okay, how am I supposed to know who you are? Oh. Paul, look out. Well, that's easy enough. <laughs> Paul, look out. Stop, let them go. So, Paul, look out. That's probably Emily Emily saying that, I, I think. Stop, let them go is the captain. 
Mm, I'm not sure who said no. I don't know if that's no, I won't stop, or no, don't do it. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Paul. Well, let me identify them first, but I think we've heard the name Paul before. Paul Moss first meets Steward. I don't know who they were killed by, though. Number 29. Yes, that is the person who was mentioned by the person who was stabbed in the back and crawled to their quarters. Right? Uh, which one was that exactly? Uh, this one. Wait. No, no, no. Never mind. This is Pete. Pete, Paul, different. Never mind. The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. The, that, the beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. A curse like that does that live for nothing. <gasps> What was that sound? Did you hear that weird heartbeat kind of thump thump? Okay, they revealed a lot in their dialogue. But I'm gonna take a look around before I investigate that. That's this mysterious person again? Oh no, no no no, that's William Hoskoot. William Hoskoot coming out of mm. uh no wait i'm getting confused here that's the person who got their head blown off that's not what i'm looking for yeah yeah, yeah not you you Well, it's back here, right? It's back here is where we are. The captain's coming out of the first door back here, so that would be this one, the first mate's quarters. No one else in there. Totally unknown person coming out or going in to the lower level. Okay, I think I'll be able to identify them based on the dialogue. But first, I want to look around some more. 
Ah, that's Robert. Robert Witterell. Wait, no. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait. Wait, that's Robert Witterell? That's William Hoskoop. Yeah, so they're coming out of their own quarters. The first mate, right. Captain's going up. Perhaps the captain left their room just a second before, and then they're coming out of their own room. Just a second after? Having a conversation? Possibly. Alright, let's take a look at the dialogue. There's two good clues here. One is that they say Verdampt, which I just googled, and apparently that's, um, that's German. And they also say, where is my Frenchman? And then somebody replies, your mate was torn apart. So they're, they're German and they have a French, a French mate? What, what, what does that mean? Your mate. Assistant? Let's go check the crew. I could just look for anybody from Germany, I suppose. How many people from Germany are there? Okay, I found them. Yeah, it's these two people. The person who was killed was the bosun, Alfred Klestel. They're not actually from Germany, they're from Austria, but Austrians speak German. So that would explain why they said verdumpt. Verdumpt. And Charles Minor is the only person from France. And also they're the bosun's mate, so <laughs> pretty, pretty conclusive. But Charles Minor died earlier. So I, I don't know. I don't think I've found their body yet. But this person is Alfred Klestel. Alfred Klestel. At the very beginning. Alfred Klestel. How were they killed? Do I know? There's blood leading from here. It like starts here, right? So it happened right here? Or what? It seems like it. What was the dialogue again? Um, what's the easiest way to get back to the dialogue for this memory? I'm not really sure. I guess this? No, that doesn't work. Mm, I'm just going to leave the memory and then come back. What does that mean? I just did a whole bunch of stuff and I don't entirely understand what all of it was. Disappearances. Four wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are cataloged here. So we figured out all the people that died during the escape. Well, wait, no. These people disappeared? Meaning we didn't find their bodies? I mean, we didn't find these two people's bodies, that's for sure. Um, I don't know about these people. They're blurry, so I guess we probably can't know anyway. So that's the conclusion for the escape chapter. Or at least, at least that's the people that disappeared during the escape chapter. There might be more to conclude from this chapter. All right, like, do we have any empty pages? No, actually. From part one, all the way through the end, they're all discovered. So I think we finished this chapter. I want to go back to the dialogue, though. this person put me down let go they sounded like just bleeding and they sounded like they were on death's door when they were talking easy now you're in a bad way 
It doesn't say anything about how they died. Let's go back in. I want to hear the dialogue again. Put me down. Let go. It's easy now. You're in a bad way. This is squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. The that. The beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. A curse like that does not live for nothing. That sound again. Is that the sound of their hearts slowing down? Why can we hear it? Anyway, there's lots of blood. I don't see like a knife sticking out of them or anything. They talked about the beast, so I could presume they were possibly killed by the beast, or, or injured by the beast, and then they eventually succumbed to the wounds, but... But I don't know how exactly they were killed by the beast. Should I put that down as just a temporary conclusion? Just kind of an educated guess, I guess. Was killed by... See, what do I want to say? Like, were they torn apart by the beast? Were they struck by the beast? I don't know. Were they eaten? I mean, I guess not if they're still here. <laughs> I really can't say, can I? No, I can't. And this is memory number one, so this is the earliest memory of this whole escape thing. I don't know if that means if I want to figure out how they died, I need to go to the previous chapter, which is what? Bargain. Which I don't have anything for? No, I have nothing for bargain. This happened right there in between the Azores and Canary Islands. Yeah, I don't know what these mean. What do these X's and lines mean? What? Oh, what does this do? This goes... Oh, that goes all the way back to the beginning. But what does this do? Is this like the next section? The next chapter? The doom? Or is that just the next page? Oh, a bookmark takes you to the memories... Oh, it takes you to the memories in which they appear! Does this button take you to the next bookmark? I th think that's what it does. Yes. So if you bookmark someone's memories, then you can see what pages contain the memories that they were in, and this button takes you to any of the other bookmarks. Gotcha. I think we go down a floor now, don't we? We completely done up here. Yeah, over there is the cannons. Most of the cannons. Yeah. Down to Main deck, gun deck, orlop deck. Down to the orlop deck. Which is mid deck above the lowest deck containing storage, cabins, animal pens, and the ship's steering tiller. <laughs> 